Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change a the thermostat on a Mercury four-stroke outboard engine. This particular video is gonna be based on a 9.9 .9 horsepower engine. However, I think you could apply these steps to any horsepower, really. And I, I really do, I think, checking the, um, checking and changing the, the uh, thermostat should be considered general maintenance. But uh, if you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. So if you're into fishing, I'd love to have you as a sub. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'm also going to, uh, I, so you need to know your model number, right? For your engine. My model is zero R zero and up. I'm gonna list that thermostat as a Amazon link. And you're also going to need a gasket for it. I'll list those for the 0R0 zero zero and up. And then over time, I think I will just add uh, thermostats, like Amazon links to thermostats based on model numbers. So then once you know your model number, you can just um, you can click check the Amazon link and open it right to Amazon. But uh, I want to preface that you really need, you should really, even though I'm going to do that, you should consult the owner's manual to make sure it's the right one. Um, and also like, I want to preface that I'm not responsible for anything you do to your engine as a result of watching this video. This is just a guide, uh, that, you know, your engine's on you. I'm not responsible for anything that happens to it or that you do to it. Um, that's something you need to consult Mercury in the owner's manual and you know, not rely on me. But that being said, I think, um, Thermostat should be considered general knowledge, like general maintenance, uh, and you should have general knowledge of it. And I, I'll tell you why, just a quick backstory. Last season, towards the end of last season, my engine started stalling out. And then eventually, I really couldn't even get it to run. Like it would start for a couple seconds and then just sputter out and die. But I had no money. Uh, I just bought a new trailer for it. And I, you know, I just, I didn't have the money to get it serviced. So I just said, you know what? You know, I'll just put it away. I went to change the oil this year at the beginning of the year and I, I opened up the dipstick and just oil just came pouring out of there. Um, and it, to me, that was crazy because I, I did not put that much oil in there. Uh, so it was almost as if someone put oil in there and the oil was, it was black, but it was super thin and it reeked of gasoline. And then, so you know, at that time, a couple, well, it was like a month ago, I didn't know anything about thermostats. You know, I, I knew, knew relatively very little about engines. Um, so I changed that oil, I went and ran it. I got it to start, it would run, but it would still stall out at low RPM. Yeah. I, and I went on one run and I came back, I checked the oil, the oil was chocolate milk. And so I was like, whoa, uh, <laughs> not good. Like I know, it, I know that's not good, right? So. I did some research and uh, apparently a common problem was that thermostats, they get stuck open. And in mine, I have a picture right here. You know, there was sediment in there and it kept that thermostat from closing. So they get stuck open, they also get stuck closed. Uh, and in my case, and I've, I've replaced the thermostat and the oil's fine now. It's still golden brown. I've been on like five runs with it. So, you know, that's fine, but what happens when it's stuck open is that water, I, th I, I don't know, I think, I'm not an expert, but what, I, I think water is going to, like your engine needs to heat up. One is that your engine needs to heat up to a certain temperature to burn off condensation. Uh, and two, when it's stuck open, that cooling water is just going to run through the, uh, like the exterior of the cylinders. And it's just going to be constantly having water run through it. And I think it, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I think it le leaks into the cylinders, around the cylinders, and then gets into the oil pan somehow. But it's not good, right? So really important that you check your thermostat. And I replaced mine, and like I said, it's fine now. So anyways, uh, that's a quick backstory, and I think it's really important, and that's kind of why I'm making this video. I'm very fortunate. Uh, my engine still runs. Uh, I don't know the damage it did, I mean, it still runs now. So, uh, but you know, potentially I could have ruined my engine pretty bad. Anyways, um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do, 
you have to get the part, the uh, model number, so you can order the right part. You can go, mine was under the cowling, I just open it and it's right there on a sticker on the top of my engine. Um, and I go to the Mercury, uh, I think it's just a, just Google Mercury um, online catalog and you're gonna find your, you know, you go to outboards and then you get your horsepower and, and if it's a four stroke or two stroke and how many CCs, right? And mine happens to be the uh, zero R zero and up. And it is, the actual part is under the cylinder block file. And it's for me on my 9.9, .9, it's part eight, the thermostat 60 degrees standard. And then I need the gasket for it as well. And that's gonna be part 10, right? So you get the parts, that's how you find it, that's how you do it. And then, um, so, Mine is like you open up the cowling, it's right above the spark plugs. There's a thermostat cap, which is just plastic, right? And then it's held in by two bolts. You unscrew the bolts. As far as I know, there's no pressure torque for that. Uh, so when you go to tighten it, you can just firmly tighten it. Um, but that's what I did. You need to consult the owner's manual to your engine to make sure, uh, right? This is just a guide, <laughs> uh, but anyways, so you, I unscrewed the bolts. I had to like gently pry that cap off. It was kind of caked on there. <clears throat> that gasket was just caked onto the cap. So I just screw it off. I had to scrape it off. Be careful. You might want to soak it. I would be very careful taking that off. You might want to consult like a, a local uh, marina who does work on engines to see what's the best way to get it off. You don't really want to scratch it and if you want to you can just order the thermostat cap as well but uh, I just scraped it off with a flathead screwdriver <laughs> I don't know if that was a good thing to do or not but anyways uh, that's what I did and then you just you uh, this you're gonna put like this end of the thermostat goes in the hole and then there's a little bend it's really weird you if you look at the thermostat cap you can see the the water goes through it, right? And um, there's like a little flow passage. And I just made sure that this little vent, it's hard to see, but there's a little vent right there, was, uh, you know, opened, facing, it was like lying in that passageway. You'll see the passageway on the cap. Um, I don't know if that matters, that's just what I did. But it's pretty, you know, it's pretty easy. You put the gasket on, stick this in the hole, this end first, put the cap over it, put the bolts on, tighten the bolts, and you're done, and that's it. And uh, I did it, and my engine's fine now. So, um, or at least the oil's fine. I still have a stalling out issue, uh, but I don't think it has anything to do with the thermostat. Um, yeah, so my oil's fine, which is, you know, the most important part. And it heats up now too. It's really cool. Like the first time I had the new thermostat in there, like I wasn't, uh, yeah, cause I probably for like most of the year last year, it wasn't heating up properly. Um, and uh, it was cool to, to feel that heat come off the engine. It was nice. But anyways, that's it. I hope that helped. Um, yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you're into fishing, I'd love to have you to sub. You can check out my video. I do it anytime I go catch fish. I post videos. I've got some how-to videos and uh, a lot of product reviews on uh, some reliable brands. So thank you. Hope that helped. Hope you have a great boating season. Goodbye.